In this Premiere Pro tutorial, we're gonna show you how to trim and cut your video. I'm also gonna share some shortcuts with you that are gonna save you so much time in your edit. Let's jump inside Premiere Pro and get started. I'm gonna show you the trim and cut techniques using this edit that we've done for One Ocean Swim. The first and the easiest way to get started cutting up your video is to use the cut tool or the razor tool. To get started with the razor tool, you can either select it here on the tool panel on the left hand side, or you can use the shortcut C to get started. Once you're in the razor tool, you'll see that your icon will change to the razor. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see how it's gonna work. And all you need to do is scroll over where you want to cut or trim your video, and it'll make a cut exactly where you put it. Now, if you want to undo any of these cuts, the shortest way to undo that is to go Command Z, Command Z to undo a cut if you made it in the wrong place. The other way to do that is to go up to Edit and then select Undo. Now to get a bit more efficient without trimming, we're going to head over to the Ripple Edit tool and the shortcut for that is B on your keyboard. Now all you need to do is select where you want to make that cut, grab the end of your clip and you can scroll it across. And you'll see our whole timeline shifts with the cut that we've made because it is a ripple edit. So it's not leaving any of those gaps that happen when you use the razor tool. And that saves you so much time because you don't wanna make a cut, have the gap and then have to move all your clips along and then start again. So this ripple edit is really nice. We can do it at the beginning of a clip and it shifts everything across. And then don't forget that Command Z shortcut if you want to undo those ripple edits. Next, we're gonna start using the rolling edit tool and the shortcut for this is N. What the rolling edit tool does is it lets you move the in and out points between clips. So if we grab between two clips here and we move it to the left, you'll see our second clip is gonna start earlier and our first clip is going to end earlier. If we wanna drag it out a bit, you can see we're gonna go back into the clip and it's gonna move where those two clips are joined without changing the actual completed time of our edit. So it's just moving in between where that cut is so you can get a nice transition between your two clips. Now we can start getting into the slipping and sliding. So we're gonna start with the slip tool and the shortcut for the slip tool is Y on your keyboard. Now what the slip tool does, it allows you to shift your in and out points within the clip without changing the duration of your edit. So we can go in here and select our clip and we can slip it across and you'll see that our clip is changing inside of our edit. So the duration of the clip is not changing, it's just shifting the in and out points on your raw clip to show you something different in your edit. And to get into the slide tool, you're gonna to use the shortcut U on your keyboard. And what this allows you to do, you can grab your clip and it's going to keep the duration of your clip that you have selected, but it's gonna change the clips on either side of it. So if we select our second clip here and drag it to the right, it's gonna make our first clip longer and our second clip shorter, but keep the duration of our first clip. Now to save you time in your edit, you want to be able to trim the start and the end of clips without having to move clips or change the tool that you selected. And there are two keyboard shortcuts that I want you to remember. That's Q and W. Now Q is going to remove everything to the left of the playhead. So you're normally gonna use this at the start of the clip, where you wanna trim a section at the start. All you do is hit Q and it ripple deletes everything to the left of that clip. If you wanna undo it, you can hit that Command Z. And if you wanna trim the end of a clip, so we're near the end of our clip, but we wanna trim that a little bit off, we don't wanna to have to select the ripple edit tool and then drag it across and then have to adjust everything. We just wanna trim using one quick shortcut and that's the W. Hit that W and it's gonna ripple trim or ripple cut everything to the right of your playhead. Let's have a look at it again if we're going through this and we just wanna trim this end off before the second clip all you do is hit that W and it trims the end off. This is so good for cutting out fluff or for cutting out clips that drag on too long in your edit. These two quick and easy shortcuts are gonna save you so much time in your edit and make you way, way more efficient at editing your videos. If you have any questions or queries about editing YouTube videos, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.